The U.S. government is back in business, and so are the U.S. national parks. Hi, my name is Orlando Mergal for Puerto Rico by GPS, and today we're going to be visiting one of the most beautiful national parks in all America. We're going to be visiting Fort San Cristobal in San Juan, Puerto Rico, the largest military structure built by the Spaniards in the New World. There are two main entrances to Fort San Cristobal. If you arrive by car, you'll be better off entering from Ponce de Leon Avenue on the south side of the fort. There's plenty of parking and you'll be entering the fort through a bunker built by the United States during World War II. But if you approach on foot from the city, you'll probably prefer the western entrance from Norzagaray Street. In either case, your first stop will be the Central Square where military exercises were conducted during Spanish colonial times. Old San Juan had no rivers, so this square served a double purpose. Underneath the square are five massive cisterns that held 870,000 gallons of water. Every floor and roof in the fort was designed to collect rainwater and channel it to the cisterns. Fort San Cristobal is a marvel of military engineering. Every inch of the fort, from its intricate tunnel systems, its multi-layered defense systems, to the San Miguel Cavalier, 150 feet above sea level, at the very top of the fort, serves a specific purpose. You can access the San Miguel Cavalier from two directions, from the gunnery ramp at the north side of the main square, and from the circular staircase located on the south end of the second floor of the soldiers' quarters. In military terms, a cavalier is the highest point of a fort. Just to give you some perspective, in Spanish colonial times, a soldier standing on the San Miguel Cavalier could see all the way from Fort San Jerónimo on the easternmost tip of San Juan Islet to Fort San Felipe del Morro on the westernmost tip. Of course, bear in mind that in those days, no building could be taller than San Juan Cathedral. Today, it's a different story. Fort San Cristobal is huge. Like I said at the beginning, it's the largest military structure built by the Spaniards in the New World. But get this, what you see today is only half of the original fort. The other half was demolished by royal decree in 1897 along with a portion of the southern part of the city wall. Why? To allow for the city to expand to the west. Even so, the remaining part that you see today is still the largest Spanish fort in the New World. In hindsight, this was probably a mistake. Just imagine, if all that existed today, San Juan would be the only walled city in the New World. Can you imagine the amount of tourists that that would attract? If you would like to see how large the original fort really was, there's a scale model on the first floor of the soldiers' quarters on the southeast side of the main square. It extended from the North Atlantic coast all the way to the bay on the south coast of the islet. Another place that you won't want to miss is the dungeon. Check out the drawings on the left wall. They were drawn in the dark by one of the prisoners of the time. Experts suggest that it must have been an officer because of the accuracy that you see in the drawings. This video is by no means a complete or official representation of all the interesting things that you'll see at Fort San Cristobal. It only represents my impressions as a tourist. However, Fort San Cristobal is operated by the U.S. National Park Service, so there are trained rangers everywhere who will answer your every question. They also conduct several tours during the day, so be sure to check out their schedules. For more information and park hours, call 787-729-6777. So there you have it, Fort San Cristobal, the largest military structure built by the Spaniards in the New World. Next time, we're going to be visiting Fort San Felipe del Morro at the opposite side of Old San Juan. For Puerto Rico by GPS, this is Orlando Mergal. Thanks for watching.